So this is uh, a local park that I come to. I live not far, like up in that direction. And this is a Pokemon gym. I've been playing Pokemon Go a lot recently. And uh, yeah. I tend to sort of come down here and sort of take over the gym. It's usually like school kids. <laughs> And uh, I sort of come here and sort of take over it, and then the next day they sort of reclaim it back. It's funny, you know, because when I was at like, I don't know, like between the ages of like probably like 8 and 14, I used to spend like all my free time down here with my brother, my sisters, and um, we have friends, and just here, and this sort of, this mound just sort of up here. Um, in the summer, I used to go and sit down here. And my mom used to sort of sit up on the bank with like a picnic kind of thing and then we used to sort of sit down here and play on this play area and uh, we'd be down here every night after school or most nights after school and pretty much every single weekend we used to uh, play down here with obviously our friends so I used to live on the estate just over the back there a road called Lawn Avenue and uh, play with the Solis who were good friends and uh, yeah there's a guy who used to live in like this around here called Ricky he died uh, for about a month ago I think 29 I believe and he's a year older than me so he would have been 30 so yeah but it's quite funny I hadn't been down here for ages and then when I started playing Pokemon Go again I thought oh you know, the gym down there, I'll go and take that, and then ended up sort of just sort of walking around this place and really quite enjoying it actually. More so just because of the, uh, you know, the memories of my childhood. I used to play tracker on this old, you know, sort of like, you know, beaten and rusted, this uh, sort of climbing frame. But when I was a child, this was like brand new, only like just been sort of. Just been sort of fitted. There used to be, uh, if you can see there, there used to be like a rope that used to come down, and there was uh, these like pegs you used to put your your feet on, so you'd have to like climb up. But health and safety, they can <laughs> remove the rope and put uh, that uh, cage there, to sort of stop people. It's not uh, not very well maintained, unfortunately, but. Yeah, it's called a Swan Pool Park. It's quite nice, you know, but I thought I'd do this because I come down here most nights after work. I sort of come and have a sit down here, have a walk around the park. Uh, say I play Pokemon Go and actually just reminisce while I'm down here. But uh, I thought I'd just sort of show you guys this. So if you are in the area, um, it's not the best park. It's very small, but it's, it's still quite kind of pretty, I guess. And uh, the main park that I go to, which I'll probably put in this video, which we'll go and take a look at in a minute, is called Mary Stevens Park. And that's a huge park. It's really, really nice. So if you're in the area, whether you play Pokemon Go or not, then uh, you should definitely, um, you know, definitely sort of take that park out. So yeah, this is Mary Stevens Park. This is the other local park to where I live. Uh, this is literally a two minute walk, well, maybe three or four minute walk <laughs> from my house. Uh, but it's really, really nice to have this like right on my doorstep. Uh, this park is huge. And you see there's a big sort of pool in the middle and there's a cafe area, uh, bowling green, basketball courts. There's loads here. So it's really, really well maintained, really nice to walk around. There's a really good chip shop as well, it's like just at the other end of it, called Merchants, which is uh, quite popular, so yeah. But the good thing about this park is that there's loads of poke shops down here, and uh, I think there's about five or six gyms as well, so it's a really good place to go and have a walk.
Hey, duck. Uh... In a few years' time, that duck would appear in a Marvel film. <laughs> When I was younger, this here used to be like a big uh, bird aviary with like, uh, like finches, budgies, cockatiels, that kind of thing. I don't know what it is now exactly. Okay, there you go. So, uh, not what it used to be, but uh, still pretty cool. This is the, uh, that's the cap over there. It's currently closed because it's actually 9 p.m., which is uh, nearly 9 p.m. So, uh, you can see, maintained really, really nice. This is the, uh, the bowls green. There's two of those, and there's the basketball and tennis courts over there, which I shan't bother those people while they're playing, but you all know what a tennis and basketball court looks like. Uh, those gates there are, is the South Road entrance. There's some... Uh, War Memorials here. And here's a bit of history of the park if you'd like to pause the video and have a look at this. It's uh, quite interesting. And yeah that goes around to like the council, uh, the council buildings around that way. You can see all that land up there. Yeah, you do have people sort of hang out. And this here, this is the bandstand. This was recently sort of uh, tidied up a bit, I guess. It's quite nice. It's uh, one of the Pokemon gyms that's usually full of uh, people who are sort of claiming that. This part here is like a water feature, which I think will pro probably be used a lot this week because of how hot warm it's been. There's a park over there, and then down here there's like a uh, like one of those static gyms, which is not used as much as I think the council was hoping. But uh, so yeah, it's a quick look at Mary Stevens Park. I could do like a proper like look around the park if you're interested in that. To let me know below. But uh, I thought of something different. Show you what I get up to, usually after work on an evening, and occasionally on a weekend I'll sort of pop up and have a walk around. So yeah, if you'd like to see more of this place, let me know, I will uh, gladly sort of give you a full tour. And uh, yeah, take care, and I'll see you soon.